This week, we're building a road. We're gonna make our way through the woods so that way we have an access road to the back of the cabin. This 250 foot gravel road is the start of a fire route, which is super important to have in an alternate route out here as we live in the woods and there are wildfires. Second, it's going to be an access road. That way we can get our vehicles and our tractor back behind the house. We can service our well, bring materials back and do much more. We also have 15 acres and we currently can't even use a fraction of it. The third reason would be pure pleasure. We all wanna make some walking trails through here. Bella and Izzy are gonna love it. I know that our visitors are gonna love it and there's so much great woods to explore and to manage. Day one is all about bringing in large stones as a base for the beginning of the road. Hi everyone. Good morning. There's been something I've been working on in the background for over a year now. And today's the day it finally comes to fruit. We didn't even know that it would be today, but it's today. Something that's gonna completely change the pace of what we're doing out here and the projects entirely. Oh my God, they're here. Can you hear that? Whatever it is has to back up down the driveway. Hey! Coming off the trailer. Welcome home. Yeah, I got that juice. Yeah, I know you wanna come get some. I can hardly wait to get in that machine. It is such a beauty. What a beauty, eh? What a beauty, I know. I don't think I saw smiling going down the driveway. <laughs> Kubota brought in the whole team today to help us get situated and fully understand this machine. If you've been here for a while, you'll know just how excited we can get over an excavator. It's finally here. 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 First step is getting acquainted with the machine and that means all the attachments. We're starting with the massive auger. So we're gonna get that attached, try it out. to our homestead, Clementine's older brother. Brother? Cousin. Clementine's long lost family member who made their way back home. What do we name this? That's first. Clementine doesn't even know Bank is here. Is Clementine gonna be sad? No, Clementine's gonna be happy. Clementine's gonna have a break. <laughs> I'm gonna be used for what she needs to use for and this excavator is gonna help us a ton. We need all your help. You helped us name Clem. Help us name the Mini X. And a huge shout out to Kubota. We absolutely love you. Thank you for hooking us up with a excavator for the summer. It's gonna be really hard to give it back. <laughs> it has 12 hours on it, everyone. That being said, I think she's ready to get to work. She's got a lot of gadgets, including AC. I never thought I would smell new car smell in an excavator. <laughs> wow, goals. That's Jasmine's way of getting acquainted. <laughs> Singing you all a song. This is exactly why we're building a road because Jasmine has to inch her way around the greenhouse to get to the back of the house because the only other way would be through the grass and we've put a lot of hard work into there and there's also important propane lines and things over there that we wouldn't want to be driving over top of back and forth all day with a heavy machine like that or any machine for Don't that matter. Don't think she fits. Don't think she fits. Guess you gotta get to build the road first. Honestly, I was just thinking like perfect timing. I can't believe like the excavator wasn't even supposed to come this week. I know. And we're building the road this week. I it, know. We have open trenches 
It's just wild. Perfect timing. Like best week ever. <laughs> best week ever. Is I right. forgot how much I love an excavator. Yeah. You know that thing where you just kind of like forget about how good something is? Oh, I don't think I can forget anymore. <laughs> no, it's amazing. <laughs> excavators over everything. Excavators for life. I'm making a tat. Stopping you in. No, no, you just clap my hand, girl. safely. Closing Clementine's eyes. You can open your eyes now, Clem. Clementine meet Nameless Excavator. Wow, look at these two, eh? They're gonna become best friends. I actually can't believe it. We're currently building a log bunkie and we want it to have power and water inside. So the other day, we are digging some trenches. And that's because we just did two foundations behind our house. That's the house. I make my line because I have no more spray paint left. Now that we have our trenches, we need to measure. 74 feet. Go hard. Turn the wheel. Yep, now try. No um, if you put it upside Ooh. down. It's gonna come all the way. I'm trying to see how many things you would do. <laughs> and now it's the excavator's first duty to cover them up. They are open, ready for excavator to shut them <laughs> and that way Clementine can get out because she's a little trapped right now unless you want to learn how to scale trenches in a tractor I'm no Larry I'm not about to do that this is what I mean by I'm no Larry I got Clem real stuck and there's Larry saving the day now he's gonna lower that bucket <laughs> I gotta run hot and cold because you want hot and cold water to that building, and we also want hot and cold water to that building, and here we go. If you're wondering, these are our summer water lines. We have quite a few of them out here. Lines that we only use when the weather is nice because those things are only usable when the weather is nice. And we just blow the lines in the winter or throw a smelly freeze in them. Super easy to take care of. We did it last winter and had no problems. Yeah, you just winterize in Canada. While we've got the trench open, you can see we have the water line running adjacent to the electrical line. That will bring both power and water to the structure. so quick. I love excavators so much. Now that the trench is almost all the way full, we are going to lay our electrical tape. Caution, buried electrical line. That just ensures that if anyone is digging in the future, they will dig up that tape instead of digging the electrical line and they'll know before they put their bucket in the ground. Safety. Hope you're all enjoying this tractor and excavator content as much as I am, but real quick, no one is too busy for AG1. This is the perfect way to get your daily nutrients. It is one cup of water and one scoop of AG1 and it's gone in a sip. Every time we make the decision to scoop, our body gets 75 vitamins, nutrients, and minerals. It is by far the easiest, tastiest, most convenient way to get your nutrients. There are amazing things in this bottle that will benefit your body, your health, and your mind. Backed by research, 97% of participants felt more energy after 30 days drinking AG1. And that's exactly how I feel and I need to share the energy. Scan this QR code or click the link in the description to get five free travel packs and a year supply of a vitamin D dropper with your first purchase. Well, Crystal finishes up making it look like there was never a trench over there. I am gonna be working on trench numero dos. And I'm gonna do the same thing. Two lines of packs, some dirt, electrical lines. Bob's your uncle. Now I think we can get back to this road belt. Morning. I don't just got a coffee mug in my hand. I've got the Kubota key. Going, going, going all the way. Hey. Uh, 
had my wings tied to the ground But now I dream up in the clouds I hope my feet don't fail me now Nothing wakes me up faster than that machine. It's just something coffee can't do. Instantly wide awake, feeling alive, smiling ear to ear. I love an excavator and I cannot wait to have a great summer with that machine. Jasmine's in there, she's absolutely crushing it. And the best part about today is Larry's hauling the material. So that means he's gonna be dropping piles of stone. We are gonna be moving it. And because we're tag teaming it, this is gonna be done in no time. It's gonna be such a productive day. And this road is gonna to come to life so quickly. See you in a bit, Larry. What a legend. Oh yeah, and peak the new pack gear. Sunday pack day, baby. Nothing says good morning like being in the machine. Or Larry waking you up with his dump truck. Love I, it. My favorite mornings are Porter or Larry's truck and the smell of an excavator, especially this excavator. Also, there's turtle mode and bunny mode. And if you, Let's say I talk to Crystal for a little bit, it automatic, yeah, I'm idling, which you don't want to be in buddy mode for, but a lot of operators like kind of forget sometimes to put it off. Um, or you just like t uh, talk and you actually can't hear the person that you're talking to. This machine automatically goes to turtle mode. Yeah. It's so cool. I'm pretty religious on putting it down to turtle mode because of the tractor. It's The tractor's old, it's loud. This thing's quiet as a mouse. Like I can't even hear it like I was like Crystal are you on bunny mode earlier <laughs> it's so quiet yeah you never want the machine working harder than it has to so when you are idling it does rev down for you which is an absolute game changer like the machine is smart. so smart <laughs> yeah. ready so now watch everyone it's back in bunny mode It's like quick, eh? So compact. What kind of gravel am I spreading now? Six to eight inch. Going all the way, going all the way. Going all the way, going all the way. Going all the way, going all the way. Going, going, going all the way. What the heck is that face, beer? A little granola, but let's be real. The best part of any yogurt bowl is the Canadian maple syrup and the walnuts. Larry's off to get more material. The machine's out of fuel, so Jazzy's off to get some diesel, and we need fuel. Yogurt's the best in the summer. Dieselina jugs are filled, and the excavator is about to be filled. It also has a really, really cool function on it that I can't wait to show you all when we fill it up. Driving on the road, this is so sick. Oh, to a bunch of gravel. Delivery! Feels cool taking a right turn. Hmm. All right, <laughs> this button is to let you know when you're done fueling. So before you overfill it and you have to peek your eyes in there, it tells you when you're at the top and you know you're full. Just like a car, except it just stops the car. Larry's back with the next load. It's really funny, Larry just got here. He's like, did you shut, shut my machine for me? I was like, well, you can thank JJ because <laughs> he's been calling Jasmine JJ. So she's got quite the nickname today. It's really cute. Larry's moving link belt. And uh, that's his machine. <laughs> He's gonna move it down the path a bit, dump out the next load of material. I'm gonna kind of give you a lowdown on our method here. So Larry starts by bringing six to eight inch stone, massive stones that can fit in my hands like this. Little boulders really, and that's the base of the road. After that, he brings class two, which is three inch and down. So it's about a mixture of smaller stones with like a crusher dust, like a fine dust, and that really compacts it. And that's why he's able to drive back up on it right away. Yep, it's pouring. Oh man, my breakfast. 
becoming soup. But at least the excavator has an enclosed cab because Crystal isn't getting wet and we're moving stone. We're not excavating the earth right now. I just flew the drone up to see what it looks like now that there's gravel under there and you still can't see the road. Unless of course I'm bird's eye view, but it's just a little secret road. We left the perfect amount of trees to cabin ratio. This road is going to be a game changer. Am I up? Amazing! You like it? You can see how far we've made it. That's the entrance. We've come all the way along here and we're right down there. And believe it or not, that makes it halfway. Jasmine's getting the machine because it's important to take turns, you know? You gotta share, even if you don't want to. <laughs> Such a good girl, you love your mommy. Next load. Perfect timing or perfect timing? I don't know when or how, but sometime I just became really good at excavating and snaring my forte. And now all of a sudden I'm getting offered jobs by Larry and I'm making such a flat, flat road. But as I'm excavating, I'm also looking back here. There is absolutely no soil or anything back here, minus rocks and more rocks. I knew our land was rocky, but I had no idea it was that rocky. But now that we're around the bend right here, it is a lot easier. There's less mud. At the beginning, we had to dig out three feet of mud first, and then Larry would haul it back in his truck. And now we're able just to put the big rock on top of the other big rock and already in the ground for us, which actually makes such a solid base. So pretty happy about that I do have to say. I've already started like lining the driveway with these big rocks and like see this this is all beautiful topsoil. Larry's taking those IBCs so just imagine a beautiful garden right there. Can't just build a road and not make it pretty right? That would be 98 percent. How fun. So fun. I even made a garden and mulched our tree. <laughs> <laughs> We can have such a nice, beautiful garden walking, like right, or when you drive or walk, whatever you're doing, into the road. I spread a bunch of topsoil. So I can get some plants, that's what that means. No, you can transplant your own plants because your gardens are out of control to put in there. Yum! Thank you so much. Mmm! Barbecue just tastes so much better. I know. This sauce is so good with the potatoes. This? I know, I was on sale. Bye bye. Look at all my green tomatoes. <laughs> Makes me so happy to see. You literally yelled, Jones, get the camera. <laughs> Tim, <Take laughs> show them the green tomatoes. <laughs> so many green tomatoes. 
Morning, grandmas. Morning, grandma, too. Still tired. If y'all have been wondering what Porter's been up to, he's taken the leap in developing his land into a homestead. Hi. Welcome to the homestead. He's milling all of his own wood in his wood mill that he built himself. He's about to put the roof on it. He's got his machines here and he's living in that trailer with his partner and they have been busy and hard at work. And if you all miss the kitty cat, here she is. Just got new tracks. Check them out. New tracks. Old tracks. And I can't wait to show you around, show you their gardens, their animals. It's really cool. Apes and dogs are like the same, man. This is Todd. Yeah. Todd and Theo. Theo. Oh my gosh. You're so cute. Hi. Carter. Ow! <laughs> Just hold it like that and he'll take it. Or a land race stir rock. Do they know their names? No. <laughs> oh. I was like, I can do that. Bye buddies. The garden is growing big and Porter was so proud to show us his dug well. You should probably leave a little comment in the comments letting them know that they should start a YouTube channel because they have filmed some of it. And I really do think y'all would love to see what they're up to because it is truly so cool. Porter went out and got us burgers and sausages and we're gonna grill up a feast. Yep. Super On kind. On the charcoal. Ooh. On the charcoal. I love that smell. It reminds me of being a kid again. They've done an impressive amount of work and as much as we miss Porter, I'm super proud of him for taking all of this on. <laughs> it's so pretty. Thank you guys. I was just in the shower and I'm almost positive I heard Larry's dump truck. If there's a pile of gravel, that means it's another day working on the road. Good morning. Well, we're in luck. There's a big old pile of gravel to be spread on top of the large stone. I have to say, I've got pretty good ears. We're in luck, so let's get to work. All right, y'all, if you can see Larry's excavator right there, this is the end of the road. We've officially gone the entire length. We have 40 feet left here, and this is where it ends. I'm so pumped to have this access to the back of the property here. And I have to say, it is so nice having an excavator around here. No shade to Clementine, love you with my whole heart, Clem, but you are good for a lot of things, and that excavator is powerful. We are at the end. I'm so pumped to have this access to the back of the house here, to the back of the property for so many reasons. I'm just really glad we decided to do this project and build this road. Oh, I'm so, I have so many. I kind of feel a lot like when we got the driveway. It's just like being able to get somewhere, be able to get the tractor back here, the truck back here, get to the well, have more access around the property, fire routes, oh my gosh, everything we said, and we've probably said again and again, it's gonna be amazing. Headed around the corner right now. Just feet away, everyone. Yeah, yeah. Clementine, 
approves of Clementine Drive. Naturally, we had to name the new road after Clementine. Clementine Drive. Do you all like it? <laughs> Let us know if you approve of Clementine Drive. A smooth, easy way for Clementine to get around the property, and it looks so, so good. I'm just so happy with it. I got Woo! grease on this hand, sorry. I love building roads. Thanks for joining us for our road build, y'all. <laughs>